breaking news. If you've been watching CBS's special report, you know it has been a horrific day in Parkland, Florida. Hundreds of students sent running for their lives as a shooter opens fire at a high school there tonight. There are reports from the CBS station in Miami that as many as seven people are dead. Police say the suspect is now in custody, but the scene in Parkland is still very active tonight. A news helicopter was overhead as this person in handcuffs was put into a police car. He was later removed and placed onto a stretcher after that deadly shooting rampage at a Florida high school. Just a terribly sad start to our news tonight with this deadly shooting at this high school in Parkland, Florida. Happened just as students were about to leave for the day, and many of them were actually forced to hide in their classrooms. We want to get new information right now as this story continues to develop. And for that, we head to WBC's Ken McLeod. Ken? Liam and Lisa, it was about 2.30 this afternoon when the word came in both via 911 calls and student texts from within the school that an active shooter was firing inside Stoneham Douglas High School in Parkman, Florida. That's Broward County. The Broward County Sheriff confirmed the worst, that there are numerous fatalities. Our sister station in Miami says as many as seven are dead. We also know that 14 are wounded. Now, students at Stoneman Douglas are saying that fire alarms went off just after 2.30. Many thought it was part of an emergency drill, which was apparently scheduled for today. But then there were shots. One burst, then another, then another, in a part of the school known as the Freshman Building. Some students ran, others hunkered down as their teachers shouted instructions. One father tells CBS News that his daughter texted him from her classroom saying that three of her classmates had been shot by a man wearing a red shirt and a black vest. The CBS station in Miami is saying he was armed with a rifle and possibly a pistol. About 90 minutes after the first shots rang out, helicopter footage showed police searching a handcuffed man with a red shirt, and the sheriff has confirmed that a suspect is in custody. Some officials are saying it is a former student. Students who escaped were in disbelief, and the school superintendent was visibly stunned, calling the incident horrific. Can't tell you that I, we can't do anything other than put our prayers out for uh, the families, the students in the school, and this community. Um, it's just a heartbreaking tragedy. There are fatalities that are involved. We can't confirm the number at this point. I am in communication with um, Sheriff Scott Israel. I'm going to meet with him now. As soon as the fire drill got pulled, the fire alarm got pulled, and kids were evacuating, I heard five pops. And I was like, that's not a drill. I was like, we never did a drill like that. You hear about this all the time, but you never expect it to happen right here in your neighborhood. Now, something like this draws a well-rehearsed response from law enforcement and medical personnel. First, heavily armed officers went right into the school, hunting for the shooter to either capture or kill him. One of the lessons learned from Columbine is to intervene immediately. So officers stormed the school upon arrival, seeking out the shooter and securing areas of the high school, locating pockets of students hiding in classrooms and closets. Officers then hustled those students to safety with their hands outstretched or over their heads so officers could see that the shooter was not hiding among them. As that hunt was going on, triage began on the wounded. Helicopter footage shows several students being treated just outside the school. So let's go ahead and recap what we know now. About three hours after this began, numerous people are dead. Our sister station in Miami says seven have been killed. At least 14 are wounded and have been taken to local hospitals. The, suspect, the, sus the suspected shooter, rather, is in custody. He is possibly a former student at the high school. Right now, authorities are working to get students who fled the school reunited with their panic-stricken parents. So, Lisa and Liam, just a horrific day in South Florida. Ken McLeod, live in studio. Thank you. We have a